Tunes cartoons on HBO Max were only released a couple of weeks ago and they're already causing a whole bunch of controversy. Before the launch even, fans were speculating that the cartoons wouldn't depict guns and were concerned that classic characters whose iconic props have been firearms for 70 or 80 years would go without them. In a recent interview with the New York Times, the series showrunner Peter Braungart spoke on the issue, quite simply stating, we're not doing guns. Sending a whole bunch of loony fans into an absolute tizzy. Many who haven't even bothered to look past headlines are calling the cartoons woke and are raging about them being watered down. But if you've actually checked these cartoons out, you'd realize they are actually pretty damn violent. Brian Gart noted in the same interview that cartoony violence, so inherent to the classic loony tunes, is still welcome. These use of various other weaponry, particularly from Alma. There's harm by household items. There's physical violence. There's dynamite explosions. And there is legit skin ripping away from skeletons. This is not an issue of violence in cartoons. It's not a matter of the Looney Tunes being watered down or made woke. It's not about making Alma Fudd less cruel because he's still depicted as that same old hunter from the original cartoons. It's simply that he has been repurposed as a character that doesn't use a gun in an age where gun violence is so prevalent in American society. This of course opens up a whole other can of worms about the influence of media on real life violence and it's a can that I'm simply not going to open up on this planet. Platform. But gun violence is a very real issue and whether or not you agree with Alma being stripped of his iconic prop is besides the point because you should understand why this has been done. And you know what? This isn't even a new thing. As far as I can tell, the last time Alma was even depicted with his rifle was in 2012 short Daffy's Rhapsody. In the Looney Tune show produced between 2011 and 2014, he's not depicted with his gun, given a more laid back suburban character. Likewise, new Looney Tunes released between 2015 and early 2020 didn't depict Alma with his gun either. Yes, there is this particular short where he is seen with a musket, but it is not used for violence. When it comes to the violence, the gun is dropped and a baton is used instead. This is seemingly a stance that Warners have had for almost an entire decade without people noticing. So why are we only now causing a fuss about it? I know because it's made the headlines. We are living in a society where it is quick to jump to rage and quickly make up our minds without looking into something properly. We're also living in a society that is much different to that of 80 years ago, hell, even 10, 20 years ago. Violence in cartoons has been an issue since the late 1960s, when Hanna-Barbera were forced to replace their super violent action adventure series with light comedies, and Tom and Jerry were forced to give up the chase, shake hands and make friends. Today, Restrictions on cartoons are a lot looser. Over the last decade or so, we've seen them becoming more and more violent again. So again, this is not an issue about violence in cartoons. So just get that idea of the woke agenda out of your heads. We should be happy that we're living in a day and age that cartoons are allowed to be as wacky, over the top and hyper violent as they were 80 or even 60 years ago. And this kind of surreal violence is what these Looney Tunes cartoons are excelling with. And guns are simply not needed for that. I mean, even in many of the 1950s shorts, Elmer uses other weapons instead of his rifle. So sit back and think, why are you annoyed about this change? You can't possibly be annoyed by the toning down of violence because that's simply not happening here. You're annoyed that a character is being ripped of something that has formed a large part of his identity for 80 years. And I totally get that. But sometimes it's okay to accept change and understand why change needs to happen. I'm going to close out with a point brought up by my good friend, Chris Parker over at 3C Films, who related this scene from Spider-Man Homecoming to the issue at hand. This is all I have. I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. Alma is a hunter and his gun is iconic of his character, just as Spider-Man is a superhero and his suit is iconic of his character. And to steal another Marvel reference, just as Thor's hammer is not the source of his powers, Neither is the gun Alma's. Without the gun, Alma is the same guy. So, do you like the character or do you like the gun? If it's the former, stick around and enjoy some great cartoons. If it's the latter, well, I guess you never really loved the character in the first place.
If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, and have a fantastic day.